Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you how to create this tourist knot animation. So the problem was I didn't know how to create this stuff. So I needed to reach out to Boris from Moscow, Russia. You know, he's a really talented guy in 3D and he knows how to operate the Spline app. So uh, he also got a lot of tutorials with, uh, with Spline on his Instagram page and you can check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And yeah, we sat on a Zoom call and he showed me all the tricks and magic how to achieve these effects. All right, first step, let's create a new file in Spline and just to delete this uh, white thingy. Click on it and press on delete. Shortcuts are kind of the same as in Adobe Illustrator. Click on this plus, scroll down and here you can see the torus knot. Click on it, press and hold shift plus alt. And as you can see, if you scale it more down, you can leave like more space in between. If you scale it down, you're gonna create this effect. So it's like it's like three donuts are mixed together, you know. So I'm gonna increase the pet size to 500, so it's gonna smoothen out the. It's gonna make this more rounder. There you go. And this is it. Now we're gonna jump into Adobe Illustrator to create the lines. Okay, let's switch it to fill. I'm gonna go to the swap so the fill is on black. I'm gonna click on the stroke, click on the none, click on the fill again, so it's gonna be on the top. And then select the rectangle tool, create a line like this. I'm gonna select the direct selection tool from here, select these two anchor points and, you know, just drag it to the right a little. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna create another line, I'm gonna make this grayish and select the rectangle tool again. Now start from this anchor point where they intersect and just go down until it's gonna show here the grids and click here where they intersect. So we get a line like this. Select both, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift and let it go here where they intersect in this line, okay? And now press Ctrl D so did a new copy on it, select all, press shift plus M, or you can select the shape builder tool. Okay, now press and hold alt and just cut this out and also cut these two out by, you know, pressing the mouse and just going through that. And we don't need these gray lines, so I'm gonna delete them, select all, right click, group, and I'm gonna scale this up, press and hold shift, Gonna move it to the left and press Shift plus O, or you can go to the artboard tool. You know, to resize the artboard, I'm gonna come from, go from here and scale it. And I'm gonna change the color to white. Okay, go to the file, export, export S, and save it, save it somewhere. Make sure you're on the PNG. Rename it and click on use artboards. Click on all, export. I'm gonna go with screen uh, 72 PPI. Go back to spline uh, and now we're gonna add the texture. Click on the torus. As you can see here, we got the materials. We need to change the materials. This is the lining. We're gonna change the font to Lamber and go to the colors, click on this little arrow and change it to texture. Click on this little square and upload image we're gonna select the line and click on open okay from here go to the scale which is located right here click on and press and type in 0 0.05 click enter and go to the wrapping and change it to repeat so this way it's gonna give you this uh, texture but now as you can see it's transparent we're gonna make it uh, flat so we're gonna add, so click on the torus, go to the materials, click on this little plus and go to the color, change it to black and move the color under the texture. So as you can see now it's not transparent and uh, click on the background somewhere and as you can see here the frame we got the background color also, I'm gonna change it to black. And now we're gonna animate this, so click on the torus click on the states so we got state one we created the state from here go to the textures go to the offset and click on minus two right we're gonna go up click on the events the little plus go to the type select start click on repeat 
and transition linear and now we got it so go to this little play button and as you can see it's just spinning and spinning so yeah this is how you make this uh, trick uh, thank you so much boris for helping go check his page out you got like really cool tutorials and uh, you can download also spline link in the description and yeah uh, if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye